Hi, my name is Jaken, and I'm clinical specialist for Alter G, makers of the anti-gravity treadmill. Today, I want to share with you how Alter G's differential air pressure technology can help you and your patients with gait training. Let me show you how it works. Body weight support is a great tool for decreasing pain, protecting healing tissue, and encouraging normal mechanics for the user. In addition to walking, the user can perform any closed kinetic chain activities at partial body weight. After an injury or surgery, most patients try and reduce load to the involved lower extremity. This affects strength, proprioception, and overall function of the injured area. With the Alter-G anti-gravity treadmill, users can begin to safely load the lower extremity sooner after an injury or after surgery. Once the patient is zipped into the Alter-G anti-gravity treadmill, they can begin to take advantage of the lower body positive pressure support. Start the treadmill at a comfortable walking speed. Adjust body weight support to try and eliminate pain for the patient. As the patient feels less pain, it may be possible to observe a change from an antalgic gait to a more normal pattern. Through the windows of the bag, the therapist can provide feedback to the patient regarding their gait. Objective evaluations can be made from the rear and the side to assess frontal and sagittal plane mechanics. With the Alter-G video monitoring system, an additional front view is possible with the internal camera. Having the ability to see their own mechanics is a great way for patient users to respond to verbal cues from the therapist to improve their gait mechanics. Walking speed should be adjusted next once body weight is set to help the patient work on mechanics and technique to restore their gait pattern to normal. Once the pattern is normal, progressive loading can take place to help the patient get more comfortable closer to 100% body weight. Do not decrease body weight support further if the patient complains of pain. It is recommended that patients stay at the same body weight level at subsequent sessions if there is residual soreness after using the Alter-G. If the patient is pain free, they can add more body weight at the next session, but at no more than 10% increments. Neurologic and geriatric patients can also benefit greatly from gait training with the Alter-G's patented body weight support system. Some may need a little more support, and just as in any physical therapy setting, it is recommended that a gait belt be used as a standard safety precaution with all these patients. The therapist can use the gait belt to help guide the patient into the anti-gravity treadmill. Once inside the cockpit, be sure that the patient's base of support is located within their center of mass. You can keep hold of the gait belt to help with the patient's balance. The Alter-G anti-gravity treadmill operates as any conventional treadmill would. If a user pushes backwards or forwards on the belt, it will slowly move. To counteract this, remind the patient to stand still with their feet underneath them. If the belt begins to slide before calibration, use the gait belt to support the patient and tell them to lift their legs up like they are marching and reposition their feet under their body. Trying to push backwards will only accelerate the belt movement. If the belt is sliding after calibration, simply start the treadmill at the slowest speed and reposition the user's feet underneath their center of mass. If the belt continues to slide and the patient is unable to reposition their feet, a brake can be applied to the treadmill belt by stepping through the bag on the end of the treadmill. This will stop the treadmill creep and allow the patient to reposition their feet. At the end of the treatment session, hold onto the gait belt again to help guide the user off of the Alter-G. Since the patient may be fatigued after their session, they may require extra assistance to exit. If the patient is unable to remain standing, the therapist can slowly lower the patient to the treadmill with the gait belt and ask for additional assistance if necessary. It is recommended that the patient not be brought to the point of fatigue in the Alter-G. For carryover to overground walking, it is always suggested that patients ambulate overground for a short period at the end of each Alter-G session. I hope this short video has showed you how you can use the Alter-G to help gait train your patients. Whether it's orthopedic or neurologic, sports or geriatric, they can all benefit from the differential air pressure technology. For more information, you can look us up at www.alterg.com. Until next time, defy gravity and defy your expectations.